Hey guys, welcome to this evening's story of thanks. I am Lisa Braun. I'm the Faith Quest Director here at Detroit Lakes United Methodist Church. And tonight I have brought one of my favorite books to share with you. This is also a favorite of Rick's. Thank goodness he loaned me this. It's his granddaughter's actually. Um, but like I said, Bear Says Thanks. All the Bear books are amazing. I just love them. I love the drawings. I love the rhymes. But since we're on the conversation of thankfulness and gratitude this month, we'll be reading Bear Says Thanks. This book is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Bear Says Thanks. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored bored, bored, and he misses his friends. I bet you guys can relate to that, can't you? I can make a big dinner, a feast I could share, but he looks through his cupboard and the cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie, yum, and Bear says thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie, but I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. There comes their friend, the hare. Hare hurries in from the cold rushing wind, and the bear says, Thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. He's got a couple of fish. Burr, says Badger as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. Look at these guys. They just come right in through the floor. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl and raven and wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. Wow. And the bear says, wait. <gasps> What's the matter, bear? Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Oh, poor bear, he's ashamed. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will all be all right. And the bear says thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground, and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. Look at all those friends coming together. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. It's good to have friends, isn't it? They're a great thing to be grateful for. I hope you enjoyed my story tonight, and I hope you'll come back next week and see what we have in store for you then. Good night. <laughs>